So in this video, we're going to be looking at link overlay. It's going to be a nice, hopefully a quick video here. What we're going to do is look at the docs, read over it, see if there's any gotchas, nice to knows. I know for this one specifically, there's um, some nice points that it touches upon. And after that, it's good old example coding time. So let's go ahead and get to the docs. And it says for link overlay that it provides a semantic way to wrap elements. So think cards, blog posts, articles, etc. And that's important because semantic, we should think of meaning. So this means that we're for the browser, for you know the screen readers, for all the stuff out there, that this is a more appropriate way to to wrap you know bigger ideas, bigger components, and then ship them out. It says when you need to link an entire component or card, it could be tempting to wrap it all in in a href right here, which I've been guilty of myself. I think we all have. Um, and yeah, and think you're done. Yes, I've that been in scenarios where I'm just like, God oh, damn it, I just need to get this out here and ship it and I'll come back to it later. And then I never do. So this is considered unsemantic incorrect because the component or card could contain other clickable elements or links, you know, tags, timestamps, buttons, and stuff like that. And I've definitely ran into that too in React where I have something wrapped, but then inevitably you're working with other people who are learning, you know, the different libraries that you're using. And then you just end up wrapping a lot of stuff that shouldn't be wrapped. And so you're like, why is it navigating? Why is it doing this? Why is it doing that? I just want to, you know, upload a photo. And this is part of the reason why. And so it says here, according to the specification and uh, a, uh, I believe, anchor element uh, content model specifically states that an A tag cannot contain any interactive descendants, buttons, anchors, input, etc. So this will help us out considerably. So it says the link overlay component aims to solve this by overlaying one link on top of the component or card and then elevating the remaining links on top of it. So nice stuff. We can see the link box right here and the link overlay that we're going to bring in and use just a very simple import here. And it says for the usage, wrap the container within a link box and use the link overlay as a child of it or the titles content. So we have this big old card thing, 13 days, the new year beginnings, catch up on what's been cooking, all that other good stuff. And we see the link box covering everything in here. So we have a, just a regular box inside of here for the 13 days ago. We have some text in here, catch up on, you know, what's been cooking it smashing and explore, you know, but we have this header here. And then inside of this or this heading, I should say, and inside of here, we have the new year, new beginnings, you know, new year, new me, um, which is never the case. And so it's this bold stuff right here. I believe this defaults to an H2. Don't quote me, although maybe you should because I'm making this tutorial series. But we can see that the link overlay is an href right here. And when I click this, it just goes to the top. We'll bring it back on down here. But see, so you, you wrap everything in this link box in here. You could give it its, you know, it's an article. It's max width. You could round it, have the border width in here. But to you know safely you know work with the link in here maybe it's not going to go here maybe it's going to go to um the article right i know this is just a chakra page but maybe you're going to have you know th this be part of your new site or company news site you know see what we're you know doing on uh you know our software development team you know this new year and this is a nice safe way of handling it and it just uses the link box and then you just wrap your text in the link overlay and you know you could you're good to go from there so for nested links it says the link box link box is kind of hard to say fast lifts any nested links to the top using z index to ensure proper keyboard navigation between links and it says use the keyboard to test how to focus how to focus ring moves within the article. Maybe I'm just not reading that right. That doesn't make sense to me here, but we have the box here, some interlink, 
we have the text, we have a heading, we have the link overlay, and then we have the link box wrapping everything in here. So this right here says some enter link, and we could see that it's kind of sneaky, right? The as keyword right in here is meaning that this is a um, you know a link essentially. And so if we were to click this, we go back up to the top. If we were to click up here where it says link overlay, we still go back to the top here. But if you were to have, make sure I'm on the right area here. If you were to have other links in here, you know, or something posing as a link, I won't really say posing, it's really being rendered as such. You could do it this way, you know, as well. And you could do something with a, using a routing library. I know there's like React, Reach, and it says to add support for external libraries like Next.js or Gatsby. You could wrap them around the link overlay and use them as a prop. So looking into this here, we have the link box coming down. Then we have the next link, uh, the link overlay. And so this is just a way for you to use those external libraries if you're using Gatsby or Next in here to still give yourself a nice fluid type of experience. And it says the caveat here, and this is important to know, this is why you always read the docs. One of the side effects for this technique is that the content can't be selectable. And this is with a pointing device. However, this seems pretty trivial compared to the benefits. And that may be the case, but you also need to look at you know, maybe I'm not sure exactly what a pointing device is. Maybe they need an update in the docs. Like, do I point to it? Is there like some kind of software thing that air quotes points to something to help people with disabilities? I'm not quite sure what the example here they're getting at is, but just be aware that if you use this in production or your team uses it and you get some user complaints, you know, especially with like the, the link navigation kind of stuff, just come back here and check it out. So we have the props here basically is external. If it's true, the link will open in a new tab. You're going to want to watch out with that because if they, uh, if they leave, will they come back? Although I would prefer at least, you know, for my years of going over the web, I prefer external links. That way I could just close a tab and come back to the website. I don't have to hit back a thousand times. So this is enough talking. Let's just get to the coding and have some fun. All right, for our first example, what we're going to do is we're going to display the link overlay and the link box. And we're just going to make a simple little setup here. So we already have the imports up above. Feel free to pause the video. We're not you know, using too many. And uh, let's code it out. And then I'll discuss it after it's done being coded. So we have all this right here. And so we have this link box right here. It's as an article to give it more semantic meaning to the web browser and you know any devices that may be, you know, or technology that may be looking for articles or, you know, is picking more important things out of your code than others, right? And then we're giving it some simple styles, you know, some nice, slightly rounded, you know, edges here. And so what the link box does is it looks for the link overlay on the inside and like props it up so that it has, um, I think it changes the Z index. So that's why even though the link overlays in here and it's the Florida man drugged up goes nude golfing with alligator caddy. That's why when you come down into here, it, you know, you could see the hand and the finger that shows you, hey, you could click on this right here. So it's kind of odd at first where you're like, wait, but I thought the link is just on this heading text here. Well, no, that's because the parent component looks for it and kind of shoves it on up for everything right here. Now we have this 
Florida Man Reddit here. You could go there if you want to, but I haven't been here in a while, and I don't want anything inappropriate to show up. So let me go ahead and do this. So I'm changing this to xkcd.com, which is a great online comic. Everyone should go check out. And you notice in the link overlay I have is external. This means that rather than your site itself changing, it just opens up a new tab, which is a great strategy because if someone is tired of being in this external site, they could close it and then come back to whatever it is they were doing in your website. So let's click this. And we see this gets brought up right here. And yeah, you should go check this out. This is an awesome comic right here. We go ahead and close it. And look, we're right back in here with the uh, Florida man doing nude golfing, which um, if you've never been to Florida or the United States, Florida is a very weird place. So what we're going to do in the next section, though, is we're going to work with nested links. I'm going to show you kind of a pseudo way of working with an external routing library. I know that's kind of out of the scope of this whole series, but I'm going to show you in theory, if you were importing something, how you would set that up. And it's incredibly easy. So I'll see y'all in just a moment. All right. So welcome back here. What we're going to do first is we're going to add a nested link in here. So what we're going to do is come just below this text. And then we're going to do this. So we have this box and all we've done is just jam this in here. We got the color, we have the link, but oh, we also use this powerful as prop again to say we want this rendered as a link. So let's go ahead and click on it. We should go to myflorida.com. And we go to myflorida.com here. I think this is the official Florida homepage. Um, yeah, I think it is if I remember correctly. So it's not you know, external here. Got to refresh my browser because something's really weird between Visual Studio Code and Chrome here. But you don't have to just use the link overlay. You can use it, but you could also come in and inside the same link box as well, you could put other boxes, the whatever you want to. You can name it as a link. And so you could still have all this going on where you, you know, click anywhere in here. It's going to take you to the xkcd website right but when you specifically come on here it'll bring you into the myflorida.com website there which is pretty cool so you're not just dedicated to one kind of link it works for you know whatever you know information you're trying to convey and put in here now the next section of this is a little bit imaginary but kind of close to what you'd be doing. So let's import a fake like routing link from an external library. And you'll see what I mean in just a minute. And I know this is going to fail here because this doesn't quite make sense. And so say you're using reach router, react router, um, maybe you're using like next JS or whatever there is in the future. What you could do is if you want to use something to link, cause a lot of, you know, their router services, they designate where you go in a website. If you still want to use this, you know, service being provided by another library, all you need to do is basically take your link overlay and then wrap it in that component that is getting provided from you, provided for you by some external link service. And so if you need to come in here and control or you want to incorporate that kind of functionality into your website, this is all you have to do is just make the link overlay a child component of whatever you're bringing in as your router library. And so here, this doesn't make sense. It's failing to compile. I think we all know this by now, but this is the simple two-step you would do to incorporate it. So 
If you like what I'm doing, like, share, subscribe, and uh, I'll see y'all in the next video.